Welcome to Antenna Magus Video Demonstrations. In this video, I will show you the design of an open-ended quadrifilar helix in Antenna Magus. The open circuit quadrifilar helix consists of four helical windings must be orientated 90 degrees with respect to one another and excited with a 90 degree progressive phase shift to achieve circular polarization. Typical applications of the antenna include satellite, ground station and GPS. I will search for this antenna by entering the keyword helix and see which match results are returned. More information about this antenna can be viewed in the info browser by clicking on the info button on the thumbnail. For a short open-ended quadrifilar helix, having one turn or less, the radiation pattern is a cardioid. The peak radiation is on axis and in this case in the end fire direction. Traditional excitation of the open end quadrifilar helix would cause it to radiate in the backfire direction. Half power beam widths of greater than 90 degrees are typical with good circular polarization over a very large percentage of the pattern. As the number of turns on an open ended quadrifilar helix is increased, the pattern tends towards conical with the beam peak moving off axis and an on axis local minimum. This is desirable in many satellite and ground station applications. Let's switch to design mode. By clicking the information button, more detailed descriptions of the design objectives are shown. I can see that Antenna Makers allows me to design for two objective groups. I will design for all available options. Here we can specify polarization, half power beam width and input resistance. Now click on design. Antenna Magus instantly generates a fully parametric model which can be estimated to see how this antenna will perform. Once Antenna Magus has completed the calculations of my design, I can assess the impedance and gain results. Parametric simulation models of my designed antenna can now be exported to FECO or CST Microwave Studio for a more detailed analysis. Simulation models exported from Antenna Magus are fully parametric and carefully constructed to support a wide range of parameter variations. The models include all geometry, excitations, meshing and solver settings, as well as the extractions of results that would typically be required to assess the performance of the antenna. The best approaches available in each simulation tool are used to help even inexperienced users achieve accurate results with minimal effort. All models have been rigorously validated to ensure that the user can be confident in the accuracy of the simulation results. I will show you how to design a printed dual band double T monopole antenna in Antenna Magus. The double T is a popular dual band antenna. Let's search for dual band and see which matched results are returned. This antenna is a compact variation of a basic planar monopole antenna. An additional section is attached to excite a second resonance at a higher frequency. Antenna Megas allows you to design for three objective groups. You can either design for frequency only or specify more objectives like substrate or wireless LAN operation. Let's demonstrate this by designing for a specific substrate. Start by entering the first and second operating frequencies. Click on the magnifying glass just above the substrate name and click on open library. This opens up the Antenna Mega Substrate Library where you can either select an existing substrate or add a new one. Under Manufacturers, select General Materials, then select Nylon under Names. A list with available substrates will appear. Select the first one and close the library. Click on the magnifying glass again and select the Nylon substrate, then click on Design.
Antenna Magus instantly generates a fully parametric model of the design which can be estimated to see how this antenna will perform. The two-dimensional S-parameter graph shows the input impedance with due resonance at my design frequencies. I can now tweak this antenna. Let's increase the length of the longest T. Note the 3D preview updates while changing the antenna's physical parameters. I can again estimate the performance of the tweak design. As expected, my lower resonant frequency decreased. Parametric simulation models of my designs can now be exported to FECO or CST Microwave Studio for more detailed analysis. Simulation models exported from Antenna Magus are fully parametric and carefully constructed to support a wide range of parameter variations. The models include all geometry, excitations, meshing and solver settings, as well as the extractions of results that would typically be required to assess the performance of the antenna. I will show you how to design a traveling wave slotted guide array in Antenna Megas. Compared to the resonant waveguide slot array that is already available in Megas, the traveling wave slotted guide array has some impressive advantages. It can handle higher power and operates over a much wider bandwidth of up to 25%. Let's search for this antenna by entering keywords like array and slotted and see which match results are returned. The slots of the Traveling Wave Slotted Guide Array are spaced equally on either side of the guide center. The physical distance between each of the slots determines the relative phase shift of each element in the array. Because the physical distance is fixed, the phase shift varies across the band of operation. The end result of this is that the array has a squint that varies with frequency. Antenna Megas allows you to design for five objective groups. You can either design for frequency only or specify more objectives like gain, beam width, number of slots and all main beam properties with distribution taper. Let's demonstrate this by designing for all main beam properties. By clicking the information button, more detailed description of the design objectives are shown. Enter the design frequency, beam width, wheel nerve taper type squint angle and the fraction of power that should reach the load and click on design. The parameters of the design such as number slots, waveguide width, slot length etc. can be tweaked if needed. Derived quantities show the total length, width and height of the array. Antenna Megas instantly generates a full parametric model of the design which can be estimated to see how this antenna will perform. Once Antenna Megas has completed the calculations of my design, I can observe the gain results by enlarging the radiation pattern graph. Parametric simulation models of my design antenna can now be exported to FECO or CST Microwave Studio for more detailed analysis. Simulation models exported from Antenna Megas are fully parametric and carefully constructed to support a wide range of parameter variations. The models include all geometry, excitations, meshing and solver settings, as well as the extractions of results that would typically be required to assess the performance of the antenna. The best approaches available in each simulation tool are used to help even inexperienced users achieve accurate results with minimal effort. All models have been rigorously validated to ensure that the user can be confident in the accuracy of the simulation results.
I will show you how to design a conical forearm sinuous antenna in Antenna Magus. The forearm sinuous is a two-port, dual, linearly polarized, multi-octave bandwidth antenna which is also physically compact. It is well suited to applications that require instantaneous polarization diversity. The sinuous antenna is capable of simultaneously receiving signals of different polarizations with good port isolation. Let's search for this antenna by entering the keyword sinuous and see which match results are returned. The conical sinuous provides a unidirectional radiation without the need for a bandwidth limiting cavity backing. Let's demonstrate designing a conical sinuous antenna in Antenna Magus. By clicking the information button, more detailed descriptions of the design objectives are shown. Enter the frequency range and the polarization, then click on design. Antenna Magus instantly generates a full parametric model of the design, which can be estimated to see how this antenna will perform. Once Antenna Magus has completed the calculations of my design, I can investigate the antenna's impedance and radiation performance. These 3D radiation patterns are calculated at low, center and high frequencies within my specified operating band. Note that the shape of the main beam remains uniform with frequency. Parametric simulation models of my design antenna can now be exported to FECO or CST Microwave Studio for more detailed analysis. Simulation models exported from Antenna Magus are fully parametric and carefully constructed to support a wide range of parameter variations. The models include all geometry, excitations, meshing and solver settings, as well as the extractions of results that would typically be required to assess the performance of the antenna. The best approaches available in each simulation tool are used to help even inexperienced users achieve accurate results with minimal effort. All models have been rigorously validated to ensure that the user can be confident in the accuracy of the simulation results. I will show you how to design a dual band LPDA antenna in Antenna Magus. The dual band LPDA consists of two single band LPDA antennas in a cascade arrangement facilitating dual wideband operation with a single feed. This configuration is specifically useful where the desired upper and lower operating bands are far apart and the dual band configuration results in a structure that is physically shorter than a single band LPDA that covers both required bands. Let's search for this antenna by entering keywords like dual band and LPDA and see which match results are returned. More information about this antenna can be found in the info browser which can be opened by clicking on the info button on the thumbnail. The dual band LPDA has a single linearly polarized main lobe with gains ranging between 6 and 12 dBi. Out of band performance typically results in increased back lobe levels and side lobe levels are generally more than 10 dB down from the main lobe for a well designed structure. Antenna Magus allows you to design for three objective groups. You can either design for frequency operating bands or specify more objectives like gain and input resistance. You can also design for 3G or HSDPA frequency band operation. Let's demonstrate this by designing for all available options. Enter the two operating frequencies and bandwidths. Then enter the desired gain and the input resistance and click on Design. Antenna Magus instantly generates a fully parametric model of the design which can be estimated to see how this antenna will perform. 
Once Antenna Magus has completed the calculations of my design, I can compare the gain results at the lower and upper frequency bands. Parametric simulation models of my design antenna can now be exported to FECO for a more detailed analysis. Simulation models exported from Antenna Magus are fully parametric and carefully constructed to support a wide range of parameter variations. Thank you.